This is exercise 39.2.2a using the solve view command to set up a layout. I'm in solve 1 in the steps lesson 39 folder. I have activated layout 1, my layout 1 tab, and I erased the viewport that showed up automatically. Now we'll begin with the solve view command. and we will go with the UCS option initially. Tell AutoCAD to use the named UCS and in this case we have one which we called front. When we created the drawing. Okay, we will give it a 0.75 scale. Specify the center, we will set it at 3 comma 3.5. It's sure working hard, isn't it? Okay, AutoCAD has located the center. Okay, we're happy with the location. We'll accept that. Now it wants to it wants me to actually create a viewport. I will set my viewport between points 1 comma 4.5 and I will go at 4 comma minus 2 from there. That creates my first viewport and we will give it a name front. Okay, AutoCAD brings us back to the options. I'm going to complete the command and then restart it. In this case we will use an ortho. We'll create an ortho. AutoCAD wants to know, wants me to specify which side of the viewport to project. I'm going to project this side of the viewport. It wants me to specify a view center. I will say, oh, three inches in this direction. I like the position, so I'll accept it. I will define my viewports between points 6.5 comma 4.5 and from there I will go at 3 comma minus 2. And we'll call this one our right viewport. Okay, complete, repeat. We'll do another ortho. Okay, we want to, but we want to th use this side of our viewport, and we want to move upward, like so. Our view center. AutoCAD wants me to verify that I'm happy with where it is. I'm happy. And I can put a viewport around my object like so. We'll call this one top. Complete the command and repeat the command. This time we will create oops, this time we'll create an auxiliary view. Okay, we want to view our area. Let's see, we want to use we want our inclined plane to be between these two points and we want to see it from up here. View center will be somewhere up here. Happy with the location. Up 
pan down a little bit. I'm going to create a viewport around the objects like so. We'll call this one AUX. And complete the command. Now we can move this if we wish. Like so. Okay, let's repeat the solve view command. This time we want to create a section view. And we're going to create a section view from here. We will start at the midpoint in the center here. Move over this way. Second point on our cutting plane. And we want to view it from this side. Accept the scale. Put the view below our, our other drawings. Locates it for us nicely. I like that. Okay, create my viewport. Like so. And we will call this one SECT section. And complete the command. Okay, save your drawing. Now it's easy to see that these are not actually sections or views that we really want. We will make an adjustment in our next exercise. That'll be exercise 39 to 3A. And I will see you there.